A battle between the city and school board over a half cent sales tax picked up today inside a courtroom. This was a meeting between two sets of lawyers, the legal counsel representing the Duval County Public School Board and Duval Teachers United, and the legal counsel representing the city of Jacksonville. At issue, whether the school board has the right to hire outside legal counsel. News for Jackson reporter Zach Lajway was inside the courtroom today, and he joins us live from outside the school board building on the South Bay. Zach? Tarek, this meeting was so well attended it had to be moved from a conference room into a courtroom and it lasted for a little more than two hours. Attorneys for the city argued the school board is a constituent of the city of Jacksonville and has been for 50 years since the charter was formed. And therefore, if the school board wants outside counsel, it is up to the decision of general counsel. The attorneys argued you don't get to sue yourself. The defense spoke for an hour before attorneys for the school board spoke for about 30 minutes. They argued there is nothing in the charter that states the school cannot hire outside counsel. The lead counsel for the school board called the situation hypocritical, claiming other city entities have outside legal counsel. There was a lot of back and forth about the consolidation of 1968. Here's what the Duval County Public School Board chairwoman had to say about today's meeting. It was interesting to hear both sides of the argument, particularly as it applied to the city charter and what role the school board has in the city charter and the obligation that the school board um, has and how we can best function. Do we function within the city charter or under the state constitution? Again, that was chairwoman Lori Hershey of the Duval County Public School Board. I asked her if she believes if the key message here, the takeaway, the best interest of the children was lost in today's hearing. She said she cannot comment on ongoing litigation. The judge promised to get another hearing back on the November docket. We're live this evening outside the Duval County Public School Building. I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.